Okay, in this video, I'd like to resolve, or not resolve, excuse me, I'd like to prove the resolving power of the Fabry power interferometer. Okay, and I'm going to assume that you have a small bit of knowledge, or a reasonable amount of knowledge, in terms of the, uh, the mathematics for superposition of waves, and you've done a small bit on, um, on the interferometer itself. Okay, so for that reason, I'm going to define the things that we need here. So, we define the coefficient of finesse as 2r over 1 minus r squared, all to be squared, whereby well, let's say root r is the uh, root r is sorry r is the root of the reflectance, and I'm going to define the area function here. So it's the intensity incident um, irradiance ti times one over one plus uh, the coefficient of finesse times the sine squared delta over two. And delta, well, how do, I, how do I find delta? Well, you need to look at superposition of waves. But I'll just give you a small bit of um, a help on that. You'll find that delta is equal to alpha 1 minus alpha 2 and that's going to be equal to kx1 plus uh, epsilon 1 minus kx2 plus epsilon 2 where e0 is equal to uh, e1 times the cos of kx plus or minus omega t plus epsilon now look, this is basically just on the principle of superposition of um, of waves. So look up that, but it, that's that's your delta is defined as the two the two alphas, uh, the the the, um, the difference of the two alphas. Okay, so you'll have to look at that probably in your notes in order to work that out yourself. So anyway, let's go let's go straight into this. So we know that delta delta is equal to uh, is equal to gamma is equal to four over root f. Okay, there are more definitions from the Fabry power interferometer. Now you know from your, we'll say, superposition of waves that the, con the condition for, for constructive interference is that you must have a path difference of 2 m pi. Okay, that's going to be equal to 2 and f times d cos of theta t, theta transmitted times the wave number k. All right, and. That's, that's another proof, that's a separate proof, which I, I might do or I may, not, I may not do, but anyway, that's beside the point. So we can cancel our pi's and we'll find that 2m is equal to 4 n sub f uh, times d over lambda. Okay, where delta is equal to 4 n sub f d over lambda. And delta delta, delta delta is equal to 4 pi n sub f. Um, d delta lambda over lambda squared. Okay, so if we equate, equate uh, those terms, we're going to find the following. We're going to find that 4 over the square root of the finesse is equal to 4 pi n sub f d times delta lambda over lambda. That's going to be equal to m times n. Alright, so thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.